Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I got the Death or Dishonor or Cake achievement. First, I took the Royal Dictatorship focus. Then I divided my army up with 24 divisions in one and 7 in the other. I'll make a video purely for research if people need help with it, but I don't think it's particularly important. Train 17 cav divisions so you can quickly deploy them as soon as they get to 20%. Uh, make sure to put them on highest priority. Put all of your military factories at the start on infantry equipment in the beginning and set it to 10 factories. Build civilian factories in the highest infrastructure provinces for the first couple of years. Now you're ready to begin the game. When this event shows up, pick supplementary budget for the first couple of years. Remember to give your field marshal traits when you can to give your army a small boost. After you finish your first focus, move your conscription law up to limited. Then take Balkan Dominance as your next focus. When you deploy all of the 17 cavalry divisions from the beginning, assign them to your second army. Then change all of those cavalry divisions to infantry. After you finish Balkan Dominance, do revise the constitution. After revise the constitution, you should have enough deployed manpower to take a line hungry. Also, after revise the constitution, change to partial mobilization. Hire a silent workhorse. Hungary will most likely refuse and you will have to go to war. Take Fortify the Borders as your next focus. In this war, try to push through their weak points where they only have one division. Also, make sure to have the highest supply priority on your army group. After Fortify the Borders, take the Royal Foundation focus. Hire an Army Offense Expert and an Infantry Expert. Puppet Hungary and the Peace Deal. Set your front line up against Czechoslovakia after Hungary is defeated. Then deploy 24 cavalry divisions as soon as you can, highest equipment priority. After the Royal Foundation finishes, take His Majesty's Royal Government focus. After you deploy the 24 cavalry divisions, assign them to a new army and change them to infantry divisions. Go down the Mass Assault Doctrine and take the Mass Mobilization Branch when you get to it. It gives you 5% extra recruitable population. After you finish His Majesty's Royal Government, take Militarized Sentinels. Hire the Captain of Industry. Create an agency. After your agency is created, hire the elusive gentleman. 
after it militarized the Sentinels take split Czechoslovakia. Hire a military theorist. Hire two agents when you can and build a spy network to 50% in Russia and then do a collaboration government operation. After you finish split Czechoslovakia, Hitler should accept, but Czechoslovakia will most likely decline. This means war. Take Puppet Bulgaria focus next. Then go to war with Czechoslovakia and call Hungary in. Wait for Czechoslovakia to start moving troops to the German border and then make an offensive line and micro to victory points as best you can. When Germany declares war on Czechoslovakia, use this to join the Axis. When you win this war, try to take the states that border Germany first and then take as much as you can afterwards. troops on the Bulgarian border in case they don't accept. They should. Change all of your troops to infantry now. After Puppet Bulgaria, take Secure Greece. Put your troops on the Bulgarian and Greek border. Set your default garrison to the Small Cavalry Division. After you finish the focus, declare war on Greece and call Bulgaria in. Don't call all allies in. Then use this as an opportunity to switch to war economy. I would recommend rating both fascists and democrats for extra stability. Take Divine Yugoslavia as your next focus. If everything is done correctly, you should be able to just battle plan this war. After Divide Yugoslavia, take the National Defense Industry focus. Then invite Hungary to the partition of Yugoslavia. They might not accept, so if they don't, call either Italy or Germany in. Then claim as many states as you can with just one claim strength to annex them quickly and cheaply. Add infantry expert to your generals if you can. Put your troops on the border with Yugoslavia in case they don't accept the annexation.
Once all states are claimed with at least one claim strength, press the ultimatum. If they are defiant, it should be the same as the Greek War and just be battle plan. Call in all of your puppets, but not Germany. Take the Agrarian Reform Focus next. Now take everything in the peace deal for the extra factories. Put your troops on the border with the Soviets. Now you should start building an air force. Also, start researching Fighter 1s and Cas 1. Then take Danubian Transport Network. After Danubian Transport Network is done, take Maloxa. You can now make a 1 Brigade division for garrison and for protecting against Soviet naval invasions. Hired an infantry designer. Don't join the war against the Allies and take the focus to invest in the IAR. Once you finish researching Fighter 1s and CAS, produce both at 5 factories per production line. You can replace your silent workhorse with a Prince of Terror to get extra manpower from occupied territory. Remember to build a quiet intel network once you finally get 50% spy network in Russia. After invest in the IAR, take Steelworks. When the Soviets get Eastern Poland, make sure to update your front line against them. Hire the IAR aircraft designer. After Steelworks, your focuses don't matter too much, but do not ever take all parties must in because it disqualifies you from the achievement, and don't do any of the appoint government focuses either. Take ground support for your Chief of Air Force. Do anti-democratic raids to improve stability. Start building military factories in late 1939. Take political loyalty as your spirit of the academy for the stability boost. Start deploying your planes in preparation for the war against the Soviets. Start taking the minus 90 political power option when the king throws a party. Get rid of these support companies on your infantry divisions as you can't really afford them. Shift click on the exercise button so you can have elite troops before the Soviets attack. Do more anti-fascist and anti-democratic raids to get a full 100% stability. Once you have 50% spy network in the Soviet Union, prepare a collaboration government. You might have to put some factories on support equipment for a small time if you don't have enough to begin the operation. Slowly put more factories onto your air force. Start reducing either Bulgaria or Hungary's autonomy by building up their economy. Reject Soviet demands and deploy any planes that aren't deployed to your Balkan airspace. Call Italy into the war and then wait for Germany to join. Set up an offensive line. When Germany joins the war, begin the offensive. Make sure to put your air force or the main air spaces you are attacking on land and you should be fine. You might have to recover once Minsk, Sevastopol, Stalingrad, Moscow, and Kiev have fallen. 
annex Bulgaria and Hungary by building up their economies and sending wind leases of trains and other things that drop their autonomy. This is pretty much the end of the tutorial, but I'll leave a time lapse here so you can get a visual of the final instructions and fighting the war.